Mortars are one of the most common weapons in Syria's conflict. They range in size from the 50 mm to the mammoth 240 mm used in Homs. This is a heavy 120 mm mortar called the M1943. Syria has hundreds of these, which have been shipped to it over the years by Russia and Bulgaria. Relatively easy to use, quick to move, they've also become one of the weapons that rebels have tried most often to copy and replicate. Bombs are simply dropped down a tube and fired as far as six kilometers away. As soon as one bomb is launched, another can be fired. A single one of these mortar systems could fire a new bomb every five seconds. Their potential for rapid fire means that mortars can affect a wide area very quickly. In the first two years of fighting, AOAV recorded more than 2,500 civilian deaths and injuries from incidents involving mortars. The way mortars are fired means that they land almost vertically. Unlike weapons that are fired at a shallow angle, mortars are able to scatter their fragments across an entire 360-degree circle, affecting anyone in their midst. You would be expecting potentially pretty indiscriminate effects. You're looking at something that's been fired from several kilometers away. It's lobbed itself up in an arc, come down potentially onto a fairly unsuspecting population. Um, they can be fired very quickly. So you could get maybe three or four rounds in the air simultaneously and suddenly out of nowhere they're coming down on the populated area.